I'm Madeline Harvey and thank you for hanging out with me today. I thought I would make a quick video for learning reference for y'all of what does a belt feel like. We're going to create the conditions for a healthy belt to not only be recognized but also developed in balance. <laughs> so if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. So when we talk about belting, what we're really talking about, technically speaking, is the relationship between air pressure and cord tension. Those are the two components that are both intensified, slightly exaggerated, but they must seek balance. If not, we, we close, we grip, we scream, and those are all areas that make belting a little bit more of a challenge. So we're going to go into these two components today, air pressure, cord tension. Now when we talk about air pressure, which is really the secret to good balanced belting and the secret to vocal power, what we mean more so about it's not more air, it's more air pressure. So what you don't want to do is take in a gigantic breath that will pressurize your body way too much past its resting capacity and your body will hate that. It's going to get it out of you. It's going to shove it out of you and that turns into shouting and screaming very, very, very quickly. So it's not about how much air, it's about how much air pressure. I know, tomato, tomato, but we're going to get into that, and let's get into this now. So we're going to use a consonant, a stop consonant, as a way of building interior pressure. But what I want you to focus on is not only feeling it, but containing it. Okay, so we'll get into that in just a second. Go, we're going to start by saying a B consonant. We're going to line up as if we're going to say the B consonant, but we're not going to quite say it. This is called a stop consonant. It allows us to exaggerate some air pressure and feel it very pointed and very ready to go. So this will give you your first condition for a nice belt. Exaggerate that air pressure. So let's let's go to say B, like B, but we're not going to say it. We're just going to, yeah, try that again. Now can you feel that that air pressure is ready, very focused and intensified. It's ready to go right there on the lip. Good. Now let's watch our diaphragm. Go ahead. Say your B, but don't say your B. Yeah. Do you feel the diaphragm lift like it means business? Very intense, committed, engage from the center of the body. Let's go ahead and say that, not say that, but pretend to say that again. Ready? Good. Core muscles. Good. Again. Very good, very good. Now this is exactly what I mean. It's not about how much air we're taking in, it's about how we're utilizing the pressure that we have. So what you're feeling is that diaphragm is lifting in a very committed, very reflexive way. So as it lifts, it pressurizes the air in the lungs like an oxygen tank, right there, and it holds it right there in the chest. So let's go ahead and try that again. I just want you to feel that feeling that when your diaphragm lifts, you feel slight air pressure in your chest, and we're gonna hold it for four counts. Ready? Good, let it go. Good, now could you feel that you could generate pressure but also contain it? This is, this is the keys to the kingdom of belting right here. Contain the air pressure, control the air pressure, use it wisely. So we're creating that condition so we can get a sense of what that feels like. There's a reason why we're practic practicing this independent of using voice. It's because we have to feel what one feels like before we integrate into the combination of the two. So go ahead and say your B, hold it for four counts, but don't say it. Ready? Here we go. Good. Very, very, very good. This is your first component. The more you practice with this, the more your body is going to include that in the intonation of sound. So it's very important, even though it feels very simple, isolate the sensation. You're showing your body this is what that feels like. So let's try it one more time. Let's hold it for eight counts. Ready? Good. 
Good, very good. So you're containing that air pressure in your body. And you're not squeezing at the neck to do it. You're just holding the air back. This is called resistance. Very good. So now let's talk about ingredient number two, which is cord tension. Now the important thing to remember is balance. We're always wanting to create sensation, but also balance. It's, it's a very nice dance that we do, just as vocal explorers. So as we continue to play with the idea of this B sound, we really haven't made any sound just yet, but we, we're considering the B consonant. We're going to pair it up with the I sound. Now this is gonna allow your chords to release the sound, so without screaming or shouting, so they're gonna get that feeling of balance there. But they're also going to close entirely. They're going to recruit a little bit more muscle fiber. And this is the recognizable ingredient to belting. There's a reason why belting is not oh, right? That's a very refined, very little amount of muscle fiber. Belting is deeper, it goes deeper, it digs into that cord muscle fiber, but we do not want to squeeze. So you see that fine dance we're doing of balance. We're gonna say bit, as if I bit the apple. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna say bit, bit. Now we're just gonna spit it out. It's not really about singing just yet. We're teaching the, the chords how to work with this intensified column of air in a way that's very congruent with natural speech. Now I'm like shooting it way up because I like to flick the sound, and I just like to explore that. But feel free to engage your voice wherever you want to engage it, okay? So let's feel that air pressure and let's release it on bit, as if a bit the apple. Ready? Bit! 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 Good. Now I'm going to keep it a little on the lower end, and we're just going to hold it out. Now we're not thinking, singing. I mean, we technically are because there is pitch involved, but we're more so thinking, speaking. Just get that sing, speak mechanism in our minds nice and connected. Here we go. So we're just going to hold it out for four counts on any pitch you want. Ready? Again. Again. Good. Now I'm kind of giving myself this physical cue of thinking down so that I feel that resistance in my body. That way I'm not going bah! right? Can you hear how the emphasis goes to my neck? I want to keep it in my chest as much as possible. And I, what when I show I'm keeping it in my chest, I'm just feeling that air pressure being nice and consistent in my chest. Let's try this again. Any, any note you want. more here than anywhere else. So this is how you want to play with this. You want to create the conditions, air pressure, core tension, in a way that use a very small units of sound so your body can get the frame of reference of this exaggerated balance between the two in a way that also releases the voice. That way the chords can take their time with uh, becoming strength, and this is gonna take a little bit of strength to be able to coordinate consistently over longer periods of time. So that's another reason why I want you to keep your sounds with this just a little on the shorter end so you can feel what this feels like. And of course, you can also play with other vowel sounds too. Other vowel sounds too. I like eh because I find it's easier to integrate balance when you're just starting out with it. So there you have it, guys. Play with this, take your time, feel the air pressure and the core tension coming together as, as friends. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.